Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and this is Alcoin Disrupt. Before we get this video started today, allow me to declare this video is not financial advice. It's strictly for educational purposes and for entertainment. Now today we'll be having a look at Icon, Icon Crypto. We'll be going through a full overlook at this crypto. We'll also be going through some of the latest news within their ecosystem, some of the latest development within their ecosystem as well, because it's important to understand their development roadmap for this year. And it's actually been updated quite recently and an introduction to Icon Bridge as well. So we'll be going through that and Icon itself. We'll also get around to go through a price analysis and price prediction because it's currently at 81 cents per coin. Total supply is 800 million or 800.4 million and the circulating supply is 734.6 million. And it's doing particularly well right now, especially within the last seven days. It's been doing really well. So I've got to give it credit there because it's basically gone from a consolidating period of roughly around 60 cents to just above one dollar, which is actually quite interesting and quite impressive. So we have to go through this. What exactly is ICON? ICX token. Now it's a platform that is intended to facilitate the interactions of independent blockchains. Also referred to as communities within the ICON platform, a community is defined as a network of nodes that follows a single governance system. A node is a computer that connects to a cryptocurrency network. Now cryptocurrency networks such as Bitcoin and Ethereum are considered communities. But banks, businesses, hospitals, and schools and governance could also participate as communities within their own ecosystem. So ICON is supported through a cryptocurrency token, ICX. The ICON project was founded in 2017 by ICON Foundation, an organization that's actually based in South Korea. Now they've got a significantly broad goal for this project. Now, now because it's a South Korean technology company and blockchain company, it is partnered with brands like Samsung. Samsung is probably the most famous South Korean brand and one of the and one of the biggest brands in the world. And it also has other partners such as Line. The list goes on. It's listed on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko with just over 600 million in market cap. It's quite impressive. Now it looks like the Icon network actually includes the Seoul government, the Seoul government, Samsung and Line. Now the Seoul government will basically be the, the government of the of the capital city of South Korea. It's quite interesting actually. But here's a unique thing about Icon, of course. It's actively looking for developers, it's actively looking for individuals and, and additional investors, and it's actively looking for entrepreneurs, but mostly developers who can build the world's fastest growing decentralized network. But what exactly do they want to build this network into? Are they trying to be more like Avalanche? Are they trying to be more like Solana? Who knows? But most importantly, they're looking for developers to build dApps decentralized applications for their platform. So ultimately, that's a good thing, which basically puts it in comparison with platforms similar to Solana and Avalanche, platforms such as Terra Luna, and the list goes on. So these are some of the use cases. These are some of the dApps that are built on Icon ecosystem that are built on their blockchain. These are a list of the utility and DeFi dApps and gaming and social media apps as well. This is quite impressive and this is just a short list. There's actually plenty more dApps for you to view and check out if you're interested in that. Anything from gaming to wallets, utility, DeFi and analytics. Now apart from that, we can actually go on to our price analysis and price prediction. Like I said, currently sitting at 81 cents, but it's that's coming from an average price around 60 cents. So that's obviously quite impressive and naturally we want to see more because it wasn't too long ago, just a few hours ago, that this token was just above $1 per coin. That's with over 565 million in a given 24 hours trading period on average. Right now that trading period is actually exceedingly high. It's over 620 million at the moment. And naturally a few hours ago it was actually up as high as 932 million. So it's fluctuating, going all around the place, but nevertheless, there's a lot of volume. Now in the last few hours, yes, has fallen in value. That's definitely quite obvious. But if you look overall for the last week, 
you'll see that Icon is actually doing extraordinarily well. And if you look even further than that, you'll notice that it wasn't too long ago towards the end of February that a price per this token was just around 55 cents per coin. So it's actually really impressive. Now, if you look over the long history of Icon, you realize that back in 2017 or early 2018, I should say, it was as high as $12.19 per coin. So the potential is there. The potential in application, the potential in development, the potential in money making, that's definitely obvious. The question is, can they deliver? Question is, will this token achieve $1 again and stay above $1 during this year? because temporarily is not good enough. We need like better results. Now here's an introduction to the Icon Bridge, the first step in two phase B2P launch strategy. Now in the B2P section of the most recent development roadmap update, the first thing we've got to understand is the gas consumption issuance. So as for the BTP message verifier contract, where the BMV, is the most revolutionary aspects of B2P's technology. It is the mechanism that allows smart contracts rather than trusted validators to verify cross-chain transactions. Miniature copy of the source blockchain that exists on the demonstration blockchain. For example, the BMV on Moon River is live cover of an icon blockchain and the vice versa. The relays are responsible for updating these copy blockchains to ensure that they are up to date and mirror the original chain. As you can imagine, this is required constant updating as each blockchain produces new blocks at least every few seconds. So this is where the gas fee issue arises, keeping the BMV contracts updated, proven to be prohibitively expensive. With each BMV contract requiring an extreme amount of gas fee to remain up to date. So, in response, Icon has received more support from Icon Loop, shifting a number of skill Icon Loop team members to focus solely on BTP. Now, the amount of brain power dedicated and launching B2P is now the highest that has ever been. Accordingly, a number of potential solutions to the gas issue are already well underway, are already well under review. The BTP team is fully confident that FIX will be implemented. Now, in the meantime, we will launch a current iteration of BTP, which are calling Icon Bridge. To jumpstart interoperability, in lies of the BMV contract, Icon will serve as the sole relay operator that will pass messages, verify transactions between chains. So this rollout would resemble Icon's role as the sole validator of Icon blockchain prior to decentralization in 2019. So Icon Bridge leverages BTP's core building blocks and offering a bridging product that can be utilized by Icon dApps and other Icon ecosystem projects, as well as projects in the connected ecosystem. Icon Bridge will therefore serve the community bridging needs as we continue to build the final iteration of BTP in the background. So with all that being said, real question is realistically, what can we expect from Icon this year in terms of pricing. Because if you have a look at the last year within the Icon ecosystem, you realize that there's been extreme volatility. At some stage it was $2.50, rough estimate. And then there are other phases where it's been as low as 60 cents per coin. So it is a bit difficult to say where it will be towards the end of this year. Where will it be after six months this year? But there's definitely true value within the ecosystem, within the blockchain itself. But ideally, I think it would be quite optimistic to think that it could probably hit $1 again and stay above $1. Ideally, that's where we would like to be with Icon Crypto. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, I will see you in my next video.